Welcome back to Mile Town. Today sees us take on Lays Down, who are currently sitting top of the league. We've drawn 2-2 two -two with them in the league so far this season, and we beat them 5-3 in the cup early on in the season. It's Lays Down to get us underway here in the first half. A win will close the gap between them, who are currently top of the league. Uh, Range Rovers are sitting in second. Uh, we've got a couple of games in hand on both of them. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a good result in this game. As we see Dwayne pick the ball up, take it round the number two, drives at him, wins the free kick. And hopefully a good chance for us to get the ball in the box. Dino to take the free kick. Finds the keeper who doesn't get hold of it, but it's given as a foul. The keeper now takes his free kick, punts it up towards the halfway line. It's a lays down head through. One by Luke Rowland who takes it out from the back. This is what he's great at. He's take, great at getting the ball down at the back, dribbling it out, taking on anyone who's coming at him. He's got such good close control. Uh, we see Jack Crowther on the ball at the moment who's cutting inside. Lays it back to Luke he again. Gets the ball stuck under his feet here. He gives a chance for Laysdown to break. Chris Griffin for Laysdown's through. One away with Matty, who's forced into a brilliant save and holds on to it well. We see Jordan Moore with a throw in, plays it to Luke Rowland, who takes a couple of touches and begins to look for the ball over to Dean Lillis. The defender tries to cut it out but doesn't quite get there. Ball's through to Dean, who tries to take it around the keeper but his touch is too heavy and it goes out. Here we see Dwayne with a throw in, who looks to find Dino's feet. Dino looks to cut him, beat his man, doesn't quite go out. Looks to beat his man again, does so. Looks for Jack Crofer, who takes a shot and is saved by the keeper. Lays down with an early substitution. Manager Charlie coming off, number eight coming on. He's happy to be on camera for the first time. It's our first game recording. Uh, Chris Arnott takes the corner, puts it in, finds Jamie Head, and it's Mile Town 1, lays down nil. Laysdown get us back underway here and this is the first time this season that we've actually gone ahead against Laysdown from the start of the game. In the first game of the season they went 1-0 up before us coming back to go 2-1 up and then grabbing a late penalty at the end. And in the game that we won 5-3 in the cup they actually went 3-0 up and were 3-1 up with 20 minutes to go before we came back and managed to get a win. We see Brett go close here but it's cleared off the line and Dino can't follow up and the ball goes over and I believe it gets stuck in the tree. It's the Lazan keep with a goal kick. Plays it out towards his left back, whose touch is good. Gets it down, plays it back to the centre back, who gives it away in the midfield to Jamie. Plays it out towards Jack Crowther, cuts back inside his man. Plays it over to Dwayne, who has a nice little run on here, but he doesn't choose to take it. Ball gets stuck under his feet. He cuts inside. He's all up, players are all over him. Looks to release it, finds Jack Crowther again, who holds his man off well despite only being a young lad. Doesn't get the foul. Lays down scrapping to get it away, can't quite do it. It falls back to Dwayne who plays out towards Dino. Dino looks to get the ball down now. Goes against his man again, looks to beat him, he's got the pace. Puts the ball into the box and is headed away by Lays down as far as the number eight who only gets it back out to Jamie. Cuts inside, a brilliant tackle by Jamie here. Finds Brett who lays it off to Dwayne. Can't get his shot away. Comes out here to Jordan Moore who puts it around the back post to Jack Crowther who hits the post and it goes out for a goal kick. We see Matt here rolling the ball out towards Jordan. Jordan looks for an option. There's no one there. Plays it inside to Luke. He looks like he's going to go on another little adventure. He's beaten one player. Does he beat the second? He does. He takes it round the number nine. Looks for the ball out wide now. He finds Jack Crowther. Crowther looks to put the ball into the box. Comes off the lays down player onto Dino and back to the keeper. The keeper's taking his time here trying to draw the players in. Picks the ball up. He's now looking for an option. Can't seem to find one at the moment so he's going to go long. Punts it long, only as far as their number 17, I believe it is, who's fouled by Dwayne and wins a free kick for Laysdown. It's the Laysdown number four to put the ball into the box. Can he find a red head? He doesn't manage to. It's found the way to his number nine, but Nick clears it off the line. Arnold punts it upfield, looking for Dino, who actually slips and falls into the number two here and gives away another free kick. Delays down number eight, has another chance to put the ball into the box, but unfortunately it goes straight out for a goal kick. Lays down here have yet another opportunity to put the ball into the mile town box. It's headed well away by Luke Rowland, only as far as one of the lays down centre backs. Plays it back to one of his partners, punts it back upfield, back to where the ball originally came from. Headed away by Jordan McKell into the midfield and another free kick for lays down. The number four with another chance to put the ball into the box for lays down. His last one was dangerous. Unfortunately, this seems to be a shot and it comes to nothing. 
A few moments later, you will see Matty roll the ball out to Lukey's feet. Like we said, he loves to dribble out from the back, but this time he opts for a pass to Jordan. Jordan looks for the long ball, doesn't find a mile town shirt. It's won by the lays down player who's played it into his midfield. Unfortunately, he's given it away. Jamie's intercepted here, played it through to Dino, taking it around the keeper. Can't get his shot away. The number two's gone in for a challenge, not been able to win it. Dino looks to square it. It's saved by the keeper, and Jack Crowther has been given offside here. Now, if you look back at that, it looks as if he's onside. There's a goalkeeper and a player on the line, but we've got to go with the referee's decision. Yet again, another opportunity for Lazan to put the ball into the box. It's a poor free kick. Luke fails to get it clear, but Jordan does manage to get it clear up front to Dino, who holds the ball up well, unable to take it around his player, but manages to win it back off the centre half. His quickest striker, one of the quickest strikers in the league, paces away from the number eight, looks to get across, doesn't take it first time, second time goes out for a mile town corner. We go straight back up the other end to a lays down corner headed away by Dwayne Gibbons. Only as far as a lays down player plays it back out to the corner taker. Looks to get the ball in the box. But Luke Rowland manages to beat his man and get the ball clear. It's only as far as a lays down number two. Puts the ball back into the box. But it's through comfortably to Matty. Matty's looking for some options. Jack Crowther calls for it. The ball's thrown out towards Jack Crowther. Unfortunately, he loses the ball to lays down number 17 with a beautiful ball into the box. And it's onto the head of Chris Griffin. Beats Matty to the ball. And that is Mile Town 1. Lays down 1. Dino gets Mile Town back underway after conceding. Lays down back on level terms. Plays it back to Lukey who finds Jordan out on the right. Plays it back towards Lukey. Lukey's looking for an option. Likes to go on a little adventure. He's going on it. Finds a long ball out towards Chris Arnott. The lays down number two wins his header into his number 25, who punts it long only as far as Dwayne. Dwayne gets the ball down, falls over, unfortunately, gives possession back to lays down number 14, I believe it is here. 14 or 19, looks to play it forward only as far as Jordan, who doesn't quite get it clear. Luke is in on number 17 and gives away a free kick. Another great opportunity for Lazan to get the ball into the box here. The player takes it, but unfortunately it goes straight out for a goal kick. I've actually lost count of how many times we've given Lazan a chance to get the ball into the box here. Yet again, it comes to nothing. Jordan looks to get it away, doesn't go far. The number two puts it back into the box, floats it up. Lukey wins a header, looks to get it away for a second time. But unfortunately, he fouls the number nine. And the referee shakes his head at first, but the linesman gives a penalty and the referee agrees with him and lays down a chance to make it 2-1. Lays down number nine, steps up from the spot to take on Matty. Saved by Matty, tipped around the post. The boys make sure and they go over to congratulate Matty. who actually got a great record at saving penalties for us. The resulting corner comes into the box away by Lukey and the referee blows up to the end of the first half and it is Mile Town 1 lays down 1. It's Mile Town to get us underway here in the second half and we're going to begin with Ben Smart looking to take a throw in. He's come on as a second half substitute. He looks to go long. He's actually a goalkeeper. He got a very good throw on him. Looks to play along up towards Lee, who's also a second half substitute. Plays out towards Dino. He's going to look to get the ball into the box, looking for an option. Doesn't find anyone, unfortunately. He's well held by the keeper. Lukey Rowland's looking to go long here. Doesn't quite find anyone. The lays down keeper comes out to clear it. He goes straight through back up to Matty, who comes out, meets it, takes it on, looks for the right back. Doesn't quite find anyone, but Jordan's managed to get back in time. Cuts back on the player, looks for an option, finds Nick. Little one two out to Ben. Ben looks for a long ball, doesn't quite find anyone. It goes out for a mile town throw in. Ben takes the throw in again, looks to find Dino, but lays down win it. It's kept in by Jordan, looks for his man, finds Lee, plays into Dwayne. Dwayne looks for another cute ball back to Lee, who finishes well, but unfortunately he is offside. Lays down keeper, takes the result in free kick, punts it up. Dwayne wins the header. I don't know how much he actually meant to win that header, but it falls to a lays down player anyway. Dwayne wins it back off of him. When you get Dwayne on the ball like this driving, it's hard to stop him. He finds Lee, plays it into Arnott. Arnott manages to beat the number nine. Doesn't quite beat the number eight as well, but he gets the ball out towards Jordan, who takes a shot and it hits the side netting. 
The resulting goal kick is played up towards Jordan and Ben, who actually have a nasty clash of heads here, and Ben had to come off after this and go to hospital. Uh, he required a few stitches, which is unfortunate. Um, here we see Luke Rogers coming on in his place for his third appearance of the season, I believe. It's yet another lays down goal kick, which says to me that Miletown is starting to get on top in this game, ahead of one by Dwayne. Number four, can't quite get it clear. Dwayne plays a ball, nice cute ball out to Dino. Dino looks to get the ball into the boxes towards Lee, who heads home for his second goal of the season, and that makes it Miletown two, lays down one. Lays down, taking kick off here. They play it back to the centre half, number 25, the skipper. Plays it out towards his left back, back into the other centre half, number four. He looks to get rid of it. It's played up towards Lukey, I believe, who gets rid of that. Down, the midfielder takes it on, beats one man. Plays it out towards number 19, who unfortunately trips Arnold. I don't know how much he meant that, but it's a free kick to Wildtown. Dwayne takes a quick free kick here to Lukey. Lukey beats his man again, as we've seen so many times in this game. Plays it back out to Dwayne, who beats the number 19. On his right foot, looks to have a shot, but it goes over the bar. It's lays down with throwing here, only as far as Lukey manages to beat his first man, beat the second man, but can't keep up the ball and loses it to the lays down. Number 7. Number 7 looks to put the ball into the box, but he overhits it. It falls to Jordan. Jordan plays it upfield to Dino. Dino is able to hold the ball, play it into Jordan Moore with an absolutely brilliant first time pass here out to Lee. Lee's taking it a little bit wider than he'd like, but he cuts in, plays the ball over to Dino, just over his head, but Dino doesn't give up on it. He manages to keep the ball in, looks for his options, puts the ball into the box. He finds Dwayne, free header, and makes it mile town three, lays down one. It's lays down to get us back underway after going 3-1 down. We go back to Lukey here, who's taking on players again, playing with centre-back. He's outraged at doing this. Who finds Jordan. Jordan looks to play out to Arnott, who unfortunately loses out, and it goes out for a mild town throw-in. No, it doesn't. It stays in. Alfie plays it forward, cleared by the player, and there it goes out for a throw-in. Alfie takes the throw-in here, up to the number two for lays down. Doesn't quite get it down. Finds Lee who hits it and he's put it in the top corner. You do not get better than that. That is the definition of top bins right there. It's Mile Town 4, lays down 1. Lays down gets back underway here. They probably don't deserve to be 4 1 down. They've been unfortunate. It's been a game really that, you know, it could be 9 8 at this point. Both teams have had a lot of chances. Lays down have had a lot of opportunities as we see, like this, to put the ball into the box that they just haven't been able to take advantage of. Uh, they've taken their foot off the gas a little bit in this second half, which is unfortunate. Uh, we see Dwayne looking to play it along up towards Dino. The keeper's come out. He's won his header there, and he punts it back up the field. Uh, he only goes as far as Lukey. wins a good header there. Arnold picks it up, plays it out, picks it up by Jordan, who plays it into Jay Moore. Another ball over the top, and the keeper's out yet again. Doesn't quite clear it properly this time. And it's another free kick here for lays down. Another opportunity to put the ball into the box. And it goes straight out. Lays down yet another free kick here. He runs up, looks to hit it only as far as Alfie comes back to him. Alfie clears it yet again. And the number 25 has a shot that isn't great, really. The number 17 just manages to keep it in here. Nick standing him up. Doesn't have anywhere to go, really. Looks to beat Nick, but Nick puts it out for a throw in. This has got to be double figures of free kicks for lays down now. I've actually lost count. I've edited it a lot out as well. So it'd be nice to know exactly how many they had. But they definitely managed to win a lot of fouls. Get a lot of balls into the box. Uh, this one, again, doesn't really seem to come to anything. We lose track of the ball here. But we see the ball getting put back into the box just about now. It's only as far as this player he gets fouled by Nick. Good shot and saved by the keeper. But unfortunately, the referee gives a penalty. And it's another chance for lays down to get back into the game. Harry Hornsby steps up, blasts it straight down the middle, and it's Mile Town 4, lays down 2. <laughs> Mile Town gets back underway here, lays down and be given a little bit of hope to get back into this game now with a two goal deficit. A nice quick centre there between Luke and Lee. Luke goes down like he's been shot and wins a foul. Here we see Lukey picking the ball up in the midfield again, beating one man, looking to release it, doesn't release it, plays it out towards Dino. Dino, can he put the ball into the box? He's set up two today with lovely crosses like this. Finds Jack, who doesn't get his shot away. 
uh, only to come as far as Dwayne who puts the ball back into the box and it's well held by the keeper. Matty here with another goal kick which suggests lays down have gone close yet again. Goal kick's taken long, finds Dino out who's playing out on the right wing now. Pings it straight across, looks for Jack Crow through, knocks it back to Brett. Brett comes inside, finds Arnott. Arnott's looking for a ball, plays in Jack Crow through, looks to be onside, but unfortunately, despite putting it away, is given offside. It's the last chance saloon here for lays down now. Can they make it 4 for a yet another chance to put the ball into the box with a free kick? The player looks to deliver. Is he going to shoot or is he going to put it into the box to try and find another lays down head? He shoots here, can't quite find anyone, and it goes out for a goal kick. From the resulting goal kick, it's played out. Unfortunately, lays down, tried to get an attack on, but it's only as far as Matty. Uh, he collects, plays the ball along here, and the whistle is about to go for a full time and a 4 2 win for Mile Town, which sees us close the gap at the top of the league. Uh, we've played lays down three times this season and we've given away five penalties, which is unfortunate. But next week we're going to a Kent Cup last 16 game against Alpington Rovers and hopefully we can progress into the quarterfinals.